Well, first, a quick update on a story we brought you last night. New Mexico State Athletic Director Mario Mocha tells KTSM that 15 to 20 New Mexico State donors have pitched in money to pay for tickets for NMSU's band to be able to play at this week's rivalry game at New Mexico and Albuquerque. We told you last night that UNM was charging each band member $20 for a seat at the game since it was not out of NMSU's allotted tickets for the game. Mocha said that's a bit of a departure from the norm in this series, but it's been handled. The band will be at the game on Saturday. Of course, with everything that's transpired between between the two schools in the last year. Hopefully this doesn't ignite anything new. Of course, there was a big fight at last year's Rio Grande rivalry football game in Las Cruces involving UNM students and members of the NMSU basketball team. Then in retaliation for the fight last November for UNM students ambushed NMSU basketball player Mike Peak in Albuquerque, resulting in a shooting that left Peak injured and Brandon Travis dead. UNM has brought in added security measures and police for a game they're expecting over 30,000 fans for. The hope from both sides is that it can be a step forward between the two schools. I think we really respect their program, Danny Gonzalez. Um, you know, while I know he wants to beat us and we want to beat them, I know he's got a really good relationship with Coach Kill. When both coaches um, respect each other and have a relationship, that it's a great start to have a good, solid, competitive game. We got two f very passionate fan bases that love their sport, their teams. They love going and cheering on uh, the Lobos and the Aggies. And for us, it's about having an event that we're all proud of at the end of the day. When it comes to the overall event, it's we're doing it and we're doing it at the best of our ability. And here's to hoping there are no further problems at Saturday's game in Albuquerque, which kicks off at 6 p.m. Mountain Time.